Here's Brody Brazil. You know, there's that old saying that no news is good news. Hopefully that's the case with the Howard Terminal Ballpark. Because honestly, since July 20th and that city council vote, we haven't heard much from the team or politicians or either side that's trying to make this ballpark a reality. Now, some of it is because that respective vacations were deserved, definitely, and taken. But there was so much buildup to that vote, to this process through the months of May and June and all of July. And then now here we are, almost an entire month removed, and we haven't hardly heard anything, like I said, to go off and and try and figure, well, we know it was a 6-1 vote, yes, but that yes was not on what the Oakland A's had proposed. So where exactly do we even stand with all of this outside of obviously letting it take a moment to sink in? Now, I'm going to share reporting with you here. This is not my reporting, but it comes from a reliable source, the Las Vegas Review Journal and the writing of Mick Akers. Uh, He's a great follow on social media. He's got the Las Vegas perspective in all of this. I highly recommend it. Uh, He's been all over this story up here in Oakland, but also where he's from down in Las Vegas. And I hate to just give it all away here on YouTube, but I'll kind of summarize what he says. Officials for the A's and Oakland City Council are in talks again to try smoothing out their differences over a proposed site for a new ballpark. Again, I know this has been a big question by a lot of A's fans lately. What exactly is going on? I'm not hearing much about it. And before I get too deeper into this, can I just say that if you're here on the channel right now, and you like this type of content, like this wets your whistle, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, that would really mean a lot to me. I'm trying to grow up this platform as a place for you and I to have these discussions. And by the way, at the very end of this video, if you end up liking it, give it a thumbs up so that it can be recommended to other similar YouTube viewers. Okay, back to the topic at hand. The two sides have been discussing the billion dollar 30 or 35,000 seat ballpark at the Port of Oakland. Uh, But the A's found the offer unacceptable. That's the 6-1 yes vote on the term sheet that Oakland City Council had come up with just a few days prior. It also says here one of the key differences is off-site infrastructure improvements and how those will be paid for. Now, we know that since then there have been some local, state, and even national developments of infrastructure financing for places just like the Port of Oakland, just like Howard Terminal, that could basically take care of a lot of these problems. I don't know all of them, but it could definitely help smooth things out. Let me get to more reporting here by the Review Journal. Oakland Vice Mayor Rebecca Kaplan said she has been working with the city staff to come up with a solution that will suit the A's. Work is also being done to finalize the environmental impact report for the Howard Terminal site. That's also a big deal. We're talking about approvals here, but the EIR is going to spell out exactly you know, what it's going to take uh, in terms of the actualities to make this project a reality. Uh, Kaplan said the city could release an update on where the negotiations stand at some point. But the next official action will be when the Alameda County officials, that's the Board of Supervisors, vote on a financing district. By the way, all of this in the timeline, I, I hope you can understand, the Alameda County Board of Supervisors, they actually met in early to mid-June to discuss this very same project. They punted on the issue until September, until after Oakland as a city could get their vote in, could kind of make their statement first. And so now it is going to come to what what Rebecca Kaplan is saying is that it's going to come to the next thing we hear about this is, is from the county rather than the city. That tells you right there that the city is not probably going to say anything before the county gets together. There are a couple meetings I've seen, one in early September and one in late September for the uh, county of Alameda. I'm not sure when and where they're going to take this up. And actually, September, when I was saying it in July, feels like a long time away, but I'm realizing now that this could get some traction in the next two weeks if it's taken up hypothetically in early September. Kaplan says, quote, the next expected Public action would be at the Alameda County Supervisors, not the city. There's lots of stuff going on that city staff is doing, and they may or may not issue public updates about it. But the next public vote of an official elected board is expected to be the Alameda County Supervisor vote on the IFD, the Infrastructure Financing District. 
Um, there is also this. I, I hate to bury a lead, um, but I, I feel like I might have done that here because this is also important reporting. This is also important information. It says here that team officials were tentatively slated to visit Southern Nevada last week, but ultimately didn't. When the A's brass will return remains unclear. A team representative said there was nothing new to report pertaining to their visit, their next visit to Southern Nevada. I don't want to read too far into that. Could mean something like something's brewing in Oakland and it's going well. It could mean absolutely nothing that they're just tied up with a bunch of things. And this is not visiting Nevada again is not a priority or that they've got all the information that they need so far. I mean, they've already been there a handful of times, several times already. Maybe they just need more time to consider how that goes. So again, all of this to put back into the generaliza- generalization of this. There hasn't been much news. I don't know when the next piece of news is coming out. We're all eagerly anticipating you know, something good coming out. Now, do I think that nothing's happening behind the scenes? Absolutely not. You not hearing about it and things not happening are two totally different things. And that's not the case. It's my firm belief that you know, two sides are working together, which is a great sign, working closely and have really made, made this an airtight conversation, which benefits negotiations. It benefits the process. It's a weird thing to say because we all want an ear on this. We all want to know what's going on. But if, if you think about it, if this makes the process more genuine, more trustworthy, more productive for both sides that we don't find out about it until it gets closer, I'm totally okay with that. And, and I'm kind of a nosy person. I mean, that's, that's my business to find out information and, and share it with you. So again, no news, hopefully good news. The A's have not visited Las Vegas again. They, they canceled the visit. And we haven't heard much from either side, the team or the city of Oakland, but it does sound like from Rebecca Kaplan that the Alameda County Board of Supervisors meeting and subsequent vote is when you will hear this brought up publicly again for the next time. And that still may be a couple weeks, if not more, away.